Good morning, everyone. So today, um, it's actually the evening now for me. Why my camera keeps like flopping all over the place lately? But anyway, it's the evening for me now. Um, and I'm going to another event, like I said in the last vlog, I know you guys are tired of it, but it is event season here. Um, and it's just, it's nonstop, but it's only because it's like a new season and stuff. So today I'm going to a company's event for the fifth, like it's called the fifth. And I don't know, they sell watches and some apparel and accessories and stuff like that. But I'm going it today because it's a new part of Melbourne I haven't been to yet. It's Collingwood area and I'm going to, it's like, a place called the commons i don't know it looked like a really cool place so that's kind of why i wanted to go even though i'm going to be honest with you guys like i'm not in the mood for going out today like i was just tired it's cold i just kind of want to like shower and stay in but i already promised adriana that i would go so i can't bail on her last minute or else she'd be at the event alone and no one no one wants to do that um i did ask the um person like working the event that um messaged me if i could bring a guest because I was thinking maybe I could invite Kyle to come with but they haven't gotten back to me yet and it's almost time for me to go so I guess I won't be able to bring Kyle mm, I don't feel like going and I have to take an uber there because it's it's pretty far from where I live it would take like over an hour for me to get there by public transit and I have to take an uber and it's gonna be expensive it's gonna be like this is like intro of the vlog me complaining about having to go out but <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be a bit pricey. But anyway for my outfit today I'm just wearing this lace top and then my comfy kind of Casual flowy pants and I'm sitting on my couch because I'm tired Tired you guys, but yeah, it was a good morning I went out for breakfast with Kyle and I shared it on my snapchat just what I ate We got Vietnamese food on Chapel Street area. We decided to explore around there a little bit. And it was nice It was nice. So yeah, I just got home did some work got ready and now I'm gonna Head out in maybe like five, ten minutes. So yeah, I'm so tired. I just, I just need to take a nap or something right now. All right, you guys, <laughs> I am hustling. I am walking to the event right now and it kind of sucks because like I was going to get an Uber and then they bailed on me after I waited like 10 minutes and it sucked so much. So I took like two trams to get here and now I'm walking to the place and Adriana is already there waiting for me and I feel bad, but it's all going to be good. I made it, yes. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I walked so far. <laughs> <laughs> like walking. Oh god, I am walking somewhere. You see old buildings? <laughs> old everything looks old. The comments. It's so cold outside. Like my hands are numb. This place looks fancy. What is it? Like a office? <laughs> you guys i'm back home now i didn't really film much talking clips at the event just because like the djs were really really loud at this one like i even had a hard time talking to people so it was a little bit annoying for that but otherwise it was actually a really really good event um first event for like fashion brands that i went to and actually really enjoyed so if you guys are interested in the company that i went to the event for definitely check out the fifth it's uh, Australian accessory brands. They do like sunglasses and watches. And on that note, something really exciting happened that I didn't film, but um, they had a contest in the event. So basically you had to get these, what's it like riddle um, clues when you ordered a drink and they only had a certain number, number of them. So Adriana and I jumped on that and we got our clue and um, we figured it out. It was actually really easy because what was our, our it was like, um, was it? It was like blah 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 something on top of the gun like shoot for something up high and they had a game a Japanese game machine there that was like one of the gun shooting ones so I was like oh obviously it means that so we reached up on top of the machine and we had our golden ticket it was just really fun it was really cool so then the prize for that was a pair of sunglasses and a watch so Adriana and I split the prize since we both figured out the riddle together 
and I chose the watch because I don't have any watches and Adriana has a bunch so she wanted sunglasses and I chose a watch from their collection so we got to go in the back and choose whatever watch we wanted but I didn't film back there because they took us into like the office where the people work so it's not like appropriate for filming like you shouldn't be filming like people's offices so yeah I chose a watch and I got it from the Yuko line so it was the Tokyo um collaboration so I thought that was like funny so I chose oh I have to set it up okay so I chose this one here it has to be set up like put together but it's a nice really simple kind of watch design so it has a rose a rose gold outline and it's just like a really blank big face and then it has a navy blue a leather band with rose gold features on the clasp so really nice and I feel like it suits majority of my style and outfits and stuff that I wear I actually had a hard time choosing because there were so many really nice options but I felt mostly attracted to that one so it was really nice I'll have the exact watch that I got linked in the description box down below so you guys can see and then on top of that we also got these little tote bags which are cute because I love having these because I, I always use these when I go grocery shopping, you guys. Like these are these are like my grocery shopping bags. So this one's a cute one, really good for whatever. And the little gift that we got today, I haven't looked at it yet, but they said it was a nice little journal, which it is. So it looks pretty cute. It's a nice leather faced journal. So that will be handy for planning stuff. I don't have any of these yet. So yeah, really cute grabs. Nice time at the event. Um, not too sure if this vlog is going to be long enough, so I might collab it with another day just because that's all I did today was go to this event. So this vlog might be attached to another one. Tomorrow. Oh, hello there. Are you wondering what time is it? Let me get that for you. Hello, my sweet, beautiful, gorgeous, beautiful, absolutely stunning goddess. I'm a beautiful baby. All right, you guys, so it's the next day after the event vlog, and like I said last night, I didn't and the vlog there because it would have been so short for you guys but today I had a mission to go out to the grocery store and get some more soy milk and then I decided to hit up a couple of dollar stores here in Australia and not like Daiso or brand name chain dollar store so I went there and got some amazing finds I got some amazing things but I also went to chemist warehouse and got a few essentials that I wanted to pick up so I'm going to show you guys that first so I just grabbed this these tights because I need them because it's getting colder in Australia and I still want to wear skirts but I don't like I get chilly and having nylons as you guys know helps a little bit with the cold so I picked up one of these I also picked up this Swarshkoff uh, hair toner this is actually really good I used it once before and it was really really good so I got another one of them lasts about eight shampoos it says which is pretty accurate so it's a not ammonia like semi semi permanent toner and it really helps with like the orange color in your hair I also picked up another hair dye and you guys are probably like oh my god B stop dyeing your hair and the reason why I'm doing this is because um I prefer the way I do my hair myself and once I get it to exactly what I want it to be I don't dye it anymore so this is the final step it's just the L'Oreal Paris preference Infinia color in 2.0 or 6.21 Opera Opera cool iridescent light brown and that's just gonna be my root color because it's a little too orange for my liking so I'm just gonna put like literally one centimeter or two centimeters of that color and then save the rest of the color for other touch-ups and that's just gonna be my root color and this color pretty much matches like my natural root root shade uh, it's hard to tell in this lighting but yeah got that it was on sale for like 10 bucks too so not bad then i picked up a roll on deodorant and you guys like you won't believe it australians are obsessed like they're not obsessed but all they have is spray on deodorant like the aerosol versions they only have like a, a small handful small selection of actual roll on deodorants and it's only like the liquid one it's not the actual like cream one it's weird because in Canada, it's all stick deodorants, like the cream stick deodorants or the roll-on liquid, and then they have some aerosol ones, but here it's complete vice versa. And I hate the aerosol ones, they're so bad. Like I got the Dove aerosol of the one that I normally get, the cucumber melon smell, and it, it doesn't even work. Like it lasts for like half the day, it's so bad. So yeah, I picked up the roll version of it that they had here. I'm also not a fan of the liquid. I like the cream, the original deodorant sticks, but 
you know. I also picked up a new pack of earplugs because I've become someone who can't sleep without them now. Um, it's been like that for like a couple of years now. So yeah, I picked up a new set of these. Then I went to Woolworths and I got two of the So Good Soy Milk. Then I went to the dollar stores and I've been meaning to go to these dollar stores for a while because there's three of them in my local area kind of like competing against each other. And I was like, okay, I have to go and see if I can find things that I need. And they had almost, like they literally had everything I've been needing to pick up. So I got a set of chopsticks. So I think it comes with eight. Oh, 10 pairs, that's a lot, so 10 chopsticks. I grabbed this nice glass jar for my coffee grounds. It was only $7, you guys, so yeah, I picked that up. I grabbed two of these mason jar mugs for drinks. I had the same, similar ones in Japan, and I picked them up because I love drinking from my water from them, you know? And it comes with the cute straw and the little lid, which I probably won't use unless it's for an Instagram post, but you know. I got something I really need, you guys. I really, really need these. It's super, it's super fancy red wine glasses, like the really big obnoxious ones. I've been looking for these for a while, but at like, um, like Kmart, at Kmart or the other places, they're a little overpriced. Like they want $40 for a set of four or like $30. This is only $14, so good steal, good find. I should have checked first before buying it. I didn't see if any of them are broken. I feel like it should be okay. Yay! Oh, I've been wanting these for so long. Those are nice. Those are nice big ones, right? Not as big as I would have liked, but pretty, pretty good size. See, so yeah, I got four, four of these wine glasses. Then I saw this, this little um, pet bathroom pet shower sprayer. <laughs> and it's actually I got it for Kyle because he always showers like quickly washes his hair in the sinks and it's like so Like okay, so I got this for him so he can put it in the, our laundry tub So he can shower his hair with this and I think he'll be happy that I got it. You know for for my pet Kyle 16 more um, Hooks because I still haven't been able to hang up all my clothes and they're still in the um, vacuum seal bags from Japan. So now I'll be able to hang up more and Kyle and I, so I got these super cheap. Then I went to another dollar store and found what I've been looking for for a while and it's just plain cushions. Because like everywhere else they're like 14 or more for just the pillow itself. But at this dollar store I found these at the bottom of a shelf and it was 13 for two each. So they're not the best pillows, but they're, you know, they're, they get the job done. And I don't need like, like they're just throw cushions, right? So I don't need like super amazing cushions because I already got the pillow covers. So I finally got these so I can put my um, pillowcases on them. So I got two each, so I have four cushions now. And let's put on, let's put on the pillowcases now. I'm really excited for this. So I got these pillowcases that I haven't been able to put pillows in yet so let's do it now one Ooh. I got this um pillowcase on eBay and when I originally ordered them I thought it would be like the actual pillow itself but it was just the cases but they didn't really specify that clearly so I was really um, disappointed when they came in the mail and it was just the cases yes yeah, so there's one two bird cute right and then I have one more and I don't know what I'll do with it but we'll see but anyway you guys that is it for today's vlog I hope you enjoyed seeing the things that I bought in the event that we went to last night I hope you enjoyed it thumbs up this video if you did comment down below if you have something positive to say about today's vlog video and of course subscribe but only if you want to and I will see you guys next time bye